That is right, guys. Welcome to the new age of Call of Duty, where everybody camps behind a shield and everybody does well because of it. Well, it's not not really. I mean, we still have to wait a, a little less than two weeks for Advanced Warfare, about a week and a half, in fact, before we finally get what we've all been waiting for, which is the new age of Call of Duty. For most people, some people, that's rushing. For, for but people, for people like me, that's camping. And today, guys, I have something different for you. So, I, I mean, I know. That, you guys know that I'm mainly a demolition player, but today I decided to switch it up and try to go for that uh, that nuked out metal in that nuked out metal in uh, free for all. You can only get you have to get 30 gun kills, basically get a nuclear, but you, in free for all, which is pretty hard to do because if you get one, if you get even one kill, then you get then you get killed. Then like let's say you get one kill off the right off the start, and then you get killed, then you you only you have, there's only 29 kills left to go and you won't get the your nuclear then so that's quite unfortunate so that's one of the reasons why it's pretty hard to get in this game mode but unfortunately guys I don't get I don't get the new nu the nuclear I die a really stupid way actually I mean I was all set up too and I, I died on a 22 streak so I thought for sure I was gonna get the nuclear I mean guys I have a pretty good setup here like I have a, I have my a new MK class because this this is my free for all class because uh. As you know, I'm not running silencer or anything. I'm pl I'm actually running a very defensive class, like with trophies and and uh, shock charges. I also use I also use claymore sometimes, but the guardian the guardians too. Like that that's the, sort of my non-lethal protection for the door because if I put a sentry gun there, if the sentry gun even gets one kill, then I can't get a nuclear. So y you really don't want to run lethals in free for all. But guys, the point of this is to sort of troll in a way, but also to try to get that metal because you know it is pretty challenging without the shield, and it's challenging with the shield too. So that that just tells you how hard it is to get. And you see, I, I get pretty lucky here because think about it, guys. I'm it's me, like I'm it's I'm all alone like here. I'm not boosting with anyone or anything like that. And there are seven other people trying to kill me. So that's why I'm running things. That's why I'm running things like extended mag, and I'm having like two, two what you call uh, trophy systems. And and I and I do manage to win the game though, and which is good, which is pretty good. I mean, given that, given given that I joined late, and I think I was down by about six when I joined. So yeah, it's pretty good. That kind of proves the other part of the campers always win thing, where you, the campers actually can win games, guys. If, in case you didn't notice, like. I do win the game. I do. I get. I only take four deaths because, you know, after after I die off my 22 kill streak, things start to go downhill, which is usual because when you, especially in free for all, free for all has bad spawns. I, that's what I learned that firsthand. Like you go on death streaks, you tend to go on death streaks, and not. Well, it's different from regular game modes like team based ones because in a team based game mode, you what how what happen is. You get killed and you spawn in your own spawn, and then you would have to fight your way over your campy spot, and then you'll get killed because of that. And that's not the case really in free for all. In free for all, like you, you, you don't have that team spawn, so you just spawn wherever the game places you, and that's often near an enemy. Like I've literally killed, like I've literally killed uh, like a sniper one time in like a standoff game I was playing, and then he spawned literally ten feet away from me and, and shot me in the back. I mean, how cheap is that, Treyarch? I mean. These revenge spawn system. Sometimes it feels like that. I'm not sure if it's actually an actual thing, but it feels like those revenge spawns sometimes. Where you, the guy spawns right next to you, like the guy you just killed, and that's really annoying. So, so if it exists, don't don't ever put it in another Call of Duty game. It's game breaking. I don't like it. And yes, yeah, need I say more? So guys, I'm running. As you can see, I'm running all non-lethals. These are the best setup. Like. You, you may be wondering, like, well, Lord, like, the, extent, the Guardian couldn't kill, why don't you run, like, counter UV? Well, the Guardian protects the, protects the door. And that's what I need. I don't want people, I don't want to have to worry about the back, the door over there. Secondly, the counter UV is not beneficial to you because you want you want your gunfire to attract kills. That's why I'm not running Silencer, because Silencer, it, it hurts range, and it's not doing anything. I don't, I don't really want to play that stealthy, because if I am, no one's going to know where I am. Especially when those the, when every when those seven enemies out on the map, like you want to attract a lot of kills. You want you want to ready for let your, yourself be known to the enemy team. That okay, I'm camping here. Okay, guys, and you see, as you see, here's my setup. This is the the setup here, and like 
I got a guardian guarding the stairs, guardian guarding the, the ledge place, and I got trophy system. So that they can't get in. They can't get out any EMPs, none of them running EMPs, but I, I do, I'm getting nearing that part of my death here. And which is unfortunate because this guy, this sniper guy, I hit two times. And I'm about to hit a third shot, and then I try to strafe a little bit, and he gets me. I, I don't even know. Don't don't even ask me how, but the snipers in this game are overpowered, probably due to aim assist. I mean, aim assist isn't the cause of quick scoping. I'll just say it makes it too e far too easy to quick scope. I mean, sure, quick scoping itself may take skill, but it, the, the aim assist makes it far too easy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, make it like the Black Ops One sniping. I mean, yeah, sure, clans like Phase and Optic will probably complain, but yeah, who cares about them? They're quick scoping kind of a kind of game breaking tactic. Go, oh, hey, look, look, look. I hit to get two shots, and then I kind of go over to the side, and then like, oh, I get sniped. Even though I think I'm safe behind a shield, and that's due to lag, guys. That that, that is lag for you. I mean, Treyarch, where's the dedicated servers? I mean, hasn't Activision been promising us for years? Okay, then here, this guy runs around the knife, and he pulls out an SMG. It's for some for instantly pulls out an SMG. I don't even know how, but he does. Don't ask me how. But see, see what I'm talking about, guys. The death streak thing. It's and also, but keep in mind, guys, that if you, if you're running around with an unsound Oh, as well as gun, that's pretty bad because everyone's gonna know where you are, and that's not good. If if you're in a camping spot, and people know where you are. That's good. I mean, yeah. Let's see here, they, they MP me, and it's like it's, I don't have all my stuff up yet, and it's, like, it's so luckily that guy instantly pulls out his uh, his SMG. So guys, if you guys go, guys want a tip for getting high kitties, camp and make sure you don't get killed. Don't take stupid risks just to get an extra kill or two. Or don't don't run out for any reason unless you have to get like ammo for like it's from a scavenger pack that's like a little bit out the out of your camping spot. But because if you take a death, you're gonna go on a death streak most likely, which is unfortunate. But that's how Call of Duty works. That's how it always will work. That's how it's gonna, yeah. So that that's not going away anytime soon. So anyway, they keep trying to get up here. Unfortunately, my guardians were destroyed in my absence when I died. So. So guys, basically, yeah, if you die, you get to start over, all over, not just in terms of kill streaks, but in terms, of, yeah, just in terms of really everything, your kill streaks, your score streaks, just, it's really annoying, but, you know, that's how COD works, and like this guy tries to see for me, I'll get on, get on noob, and then this SMG kid rushes me again. You see, I, I just hate rushers who do that. I mean, okay, I mean, sure, you have a pretty good, you have a good weapon, but just don't, don't run to my spot. So anyway, guys, that's the game. I hope you like the free-for-all gameplay. Hopefully I can actually get a nuclear. I mean, I've been trying, but it is pretty hard in free-for-all. If you ever try that, it's really hard to get that. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.